a G-Shock GR8900A7 watch with a white strap and a negative digital display and waterproof up to 200 meters. All right. Here is the here is some instruction manuals that it comes with, just the basics right here. And it has multiple languages also. And then there's the other stuff. This is everything you could possibly ever need to know about the G-Shock GR8900A7. Alright. And here is the watch. Right there. It is very good looking and it obviously has a white screen and white buttons on either side. And it is fairly skinny, right there, or at least skinny for a G-Shock, and surprisingly light also, and very comfortable to wear. Up there in the top right corner, you can see how it says the day and the date, and then down here at the bottom it says the time, 810, and then the seconds are displayed right there. It also has this up here, which is pretty much for design, and to keep time with the seconds not really anything else and it is also touch solar which means it is solar powered you can kinda see the solar panels right up there and it also has this neat little thing called auto illumination so when you turn the watch anywhere past a 15 degree angle the light automatically turns on I will give you a demonstration of that All right, here it is. You see I'm not touching any buttons. It is turning on when I move it. And then to turn that off, you just hold down the light button for three seconds. And there you go. All right, here's the watch on my wrist. And as you can tell, it's pretty small in comparison, in comparison to my hand. And here's how thin it is on my wrist so pretty thin it's good and it is uh, very comfortable and lightweight so it's easy to wear you can run in it all you want do all the stuff like that and here's the blue LED just press the G to turn it on there you go and that's just about all with the GR8900A7 G-Shock watch and Overall, it is a very great watch, and you should buy it. Thank you.